Yeah, recently I was driving this vehicle. I find it's pretty hard to engage in each of the gears. I reckon the constant clutch engagement and disengagement is not correct. So probably something was wrong the clutch pad or the whole clutch system. Uh, let's start from the easiest part. The first thing is to check the clutch master cylinder, whether this is leakage or somewhere around here. This is the clutch master cylinder. I can't see any leakage around this spot. So let's check inside. I think I found the problem. See? It's leaking there. So the brake fluid is just leaking out of the seal. So that's why, I reckon that's why, when foot on clutch, it didn't generate that much pressure as it's leaking. So the clutch plate is not disengaged fully. Now I find the problem. All right, let's do it. Because this place is not enough for me to take a video or something, so I decided to take the seat out. Just give me a bit of more clearance there. Yeah? Okay. So make sure you get all the tools. So get this one out, it's very easy. One bolt, two bolts, and this one inside, another one inside. So let's do it. We need we need to take this pin out. See? So out. Well it's been off very it's been off hard for me to take a photo when I take these pins out. See? I didn't manage to take a yes. shot, so uh, just make it very uh, simple uh, to you. This is just a pin. It's just it lock it itself, so okay. what you need to do is just to Spread it a little bit, tiny bit, and then slide it out. It's very easy. Just screw it all the way down. It's a very bit long. This is the only bolt inside there. 12 millimeter long socket with an extension. And it's a 12 millimeter deep socket with the extension and you can just crack it just like this that's it this is the nut and another one in the engine bay so what I need is a 12 millimeter you can use a socket or spanner whichever you like so in this case i will have to disconnect the yeah, hopefully. vacuum hose to a lot bit of more clearance for me this one this one is out this one is out this one is It starts leaking, take it out like that and cover the wheels on this. So, what you need, just need to do is do it as little as you can using some 
Ganz so das Prinzip da. Here, so in this case, uh, this is a way that I prevent my brake fluid from losing. I don't want to drain all the brake fluid the reservoir. So just keep losing okay. brake fluid. No, keep the avoiding avoid losing brake fluid. And the other thing is the slave man slave cylinders connector. It's a ten minutes okay. What you can do is a time. So I just held the hose or whatever the tube up. So in this case, it's a bit of higher than the red void itself, so it won't losing any brake fluid. Well, you can use a deep tight or whatever you want. Okay. Just hold it up. Just sit. Look anymore. And then it's a ten, ten millimeter for the slave thing in the connector. Um, can do it turn by turn. Very gunky. See, you break through. So you close the door, let it slide it back in. But firstly, don't forget to take all the seals out and they expect any damage right around here. No, no, no. Oh, good. Let's go. That one? Yeah, I find okay, it's pretty okay. difficult to Stay. connect the snap cylinder to... connector or the brake master cylinder's okay. hose in that hose without putting the master cylinder in place, lock in place. I mean, mm -hmm. so I reckon so you in. could probably just do put the, the bolts or tie or, or nuts in place to lock in the master cylinder so in this case you can just connect those two because you are not losing any brake fluid from the reservoir and you have to bleed all the system well, it doesn't really matter it's you need to definitely get it. dripping any brake fluid from the slave cylinder or not
adjustable wrench. Time to bring it to the clutch, so foot on clutch. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Right. And then using a piece of timber here for the last one. And just to see it. Just like this. Now, in this case, we can just bleed the system. <laughs> just, so we just crack this one to open. Hope a little. Just slowly. You can see the brake fluid is. Pump, been pumped out from this house see but it won't go any further just close this one as soon as you can okay now this is a process you may need to do this couple of times three or four times or even six times until the fluid is being pushed out and you will see there's no bubbles, no air in the fluid then that's okay You know, always top up your your must your muscle cylinder reservoir just in case the fluid level drops to the very minimum. So always top up. Now I've done a couple of times bleeding the clutch cylinder system, hydraulic system, whatever you call it. Now is a good time to test it. So you just need your key on and engine starts. Foot on the pedal. Let the engine runs and give it a go. Just give it a feel. You can feel the engagement and the disengagement. And by this time, when the engine is rotating, you have to check it 
LV gears with a foot on clutch every gear in your car so let's go one two three four five and the reverse you should have you shouldn't have any resistance when you select each of the gears but if you are that means you still have bubbles or air in your clutch system you need to bleed it again 